today's uh, new series of the lecture or videos uh, uh, for this uh, 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 sections, uh, I will try to uh, introduce the new uh, Archimate uh, modeling language uh, 3.2 specification. Uh, and at the same time, is uh, I uh, want to, uh, uh, along with this learning, is to build our ontology view uh, for that. Uh, so this video is our the opening one, the first one. So I intend to introduce the, the ideas for this uh, series of the lectures and also the structure of the uh, contents and uh, how uh, I will put in the information uh, uh, for you to have a reference. Uh, so if you are uh, uh, the architect role, or even not our architect role, but you are working in the either the business or the IT uh, field, uh, but you are uh, interested on the Archimate, uh, which uh, can help you to do the um, uh, architecture modeling, uh, not only on the technology architecture, but also focus on the enterprise uh, architecture uh, modeling. Uh, or you, if you are the architect, is uh, trying to prepare the Archimate uh, uh, this uh, exam for getting the certification. Uh, uh, this uh, course uh, will give you our end-to-end uh, -end, uh, going through for the Archimate 3.2 specification. Uh, this uh, specification is uh, uh, published uh, 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 on this uh, new development uh, this year, 2024, and on the 2025, it will be finally uh, released uh, with collecting the recently certain the inputs by the community. Uh, but the difference uh, for this video compared to uh, some of my earlier uh, the videos or the courses about the Archimate uh, is I'm trying to use the uh, ontology view to uh, support this our learning. So ontology is, uh, I put this uh, icon here, is I will use this offline prodigy uh, ontology editor uh, to model the Archimate uh, Meta model. Uh, so meta model is the model of model. So uh, once you have a very clear view of this uh, meta model, you can apply this uh, meta model to your daily uh, modeling practice. Uh, then you can refer to my earlier lectures like uh, the Archisurance case study, Archimeto case study. Uh, as I said, if you are looking forward to uh, get this uh, uh, certification from uh, Open group uh, for the Archimate language. Uh, those two uh, case studies are crucial for you to uh, answer questions and uh, uh, passing the uh, certification. Uh, but uh, back to the uh, specification perspective is uh, learning the uh, the language itself uh, will be also uh, highly useful for you uh, to ensure is, uh, you uh, are following the good practice uh, when you starting to define uh, yourself uh, or your team's uh, way of working. Uh, so that is the way is I hope is uh, uh, along this uh, coming the several view, uh, videos, is, uh, you can follow me to step-by-step uh, -step learn the Archimate 3.2 language specification. And at the same time, is, uh, I also uh, suggest this, uh, you uh, follow the de uh, this uh, demo and uh, do the hands-on uh, practice uh, together because my uh, normally, it's my style of uh, my videos are always is I try to demo to you uh, with those uh, the actual uh, activities uh, which you can follow. Uh, and after the courses, uh, and you are not only understand the uh, language theory, uh, but also you uh, practice a certain this uh, modeling part. But within this. Uh, uh, course or lectures, uh, we are not uh, use this uh, 
uh, Archimate tool, uh, so which you saw that uh, like I always use this uh, Archie uh, tool, uh, but uh, all is uh, some architecture modeling tool like as I used the Essential. Uh, but uh, within this uh, video is uh, we will focus on using the Prodigy, so which is the ontology tool because we are not trying to build uh, any specific uh, the architecture uh, this. Uh, artifacts uh, or models uh, we are trying to understand the meta model so meta model is our uh, you can build that from the semantic view uh, so instead of uh, we build this in a specific uh, model so uh, before we go to the uh, the detail is uh, first of all is uh, this is the link. Uh, I also put that in my uh, always used uh, mind map. So, uh, but uh, you can uh, start uh, open your uh, browser is opengroup.org slash togaf. So this is the uh, the source of uh, page for the overall TOGAF uh, standard uh, language uh, specification. Uh, within this page, if you scroll down now, the TOGAF is the number 10 edition. TOGAF is uh, represented as the open group architecture framework. So that is the uh, uh, open group, the key standard uh, open uh, and uh, published. But if you scroll down uh, here, so you will see it over uh, the target is the Archimate 3.2 uh, specification. So in short, is uh, this Archimate is a standard of uh, TOGAF. So it's published and maintained by TOGAF. It's the de defined open and independent modeling language for architect enterprise architecture. So, uh, but uh, why I say is uh, uh, no matter you are working as an architect role or a non-architect role, this will be uh, both uh, uh, beneficial to you is uh, uh, that uh, later on you may gradually to uh, feel uh, this uh, perspective is enterprise architecture is not a technical term. Enterprise architecture's uh, scope is the enterprise. So as long as you are working in the company or corporate, uh, you are working in your enterprise. So then enterprise architecture are related to you. So that is uh, no matter which role you are working in your company. Uh, so you should be able to describe a certain aspect of the enterprise. So later on, when we see those uh, TOGAF uh, layered model, uh, then this uh, framework, then you may see here, you can find out uh, your positioning uh, within the enterprise. And this Archimate is the modeling language. So like you learn or any kind of language, as I mentioned in my other courses, like is if you learn our foreign lang speaking language, like uh, English, Spanish, or French, uh, you will need to know the grammar first uh, and how their vocabulary and how they package uh, the certain phrase into the uh, sentence and whether they have uh, certain days, uh, uh, the timing related, uh, the, um, uh, the days of styles. Uh, so all those are the uh, syntax uh, which we see the um, uh, those uh, specification for that is a, sp a spoken language similar uh, similar to the of a modeling languages so you also need to uh, know the notation the standard and also the kind of the practice and also the behavior of uh, the relationship of uh, within those uh, specifications so all those things uh, will uh, help you to uh, describe uh, using this language to tell a story. So when you use the Archimate as the language uh, to describe your modeling artifacts uh, in the enterprise architecture, it's exactly the same as when you're using one uh, learned foreign language to describe, describe our uh, life story. Uh, so uh, then this, uh, when uh, considered from your uh, audience perspective, is uh, if you use the correct uh, grammar, correct uh, uh, vocabulary, correct uh, for, uh, words, then uh, the, your audience will understand you. 
that is what we say is you find our common language between you and your audience, uh, which uh, primarily is your stakeholders. So, uh, that is the importance is for uh, everyone to understand our modeling language uh, from the specification perspective. Don't uh, afraid this, uh, this specification is uh, boring things, or the, uh, we should uh, not read that uh, always. Uh, more than 100 pages. Uh, when you're breaking them down, is uh, every sentence uh, when the community build this specification are very useful and they just choose uh, pr uh, the carefully about the useful information for us. So, but when you just use a certain vendor tools, uh, if uh, and you don't understand uh, uh, in certain level of this specification, you just uh, uh, blindly is, uh, use a certain notation that will and definitely you can draw some diagram but it's not our uh, uh, easier for you to uh, find out the gap and uh, maybe the difference uh, uh, the styles uh, between you and your uh, talking partner so that is the uh, important is uh, for us to uh, try to sit down together and uh, learn this uh, specification. So this uh, course is not the same as my other Archimate related course. This course we focus on the language itself. So this uh, language is enable enterprise architect to describe, analyze, visualize the relationship among business domain in uh, uh, this uh, clear way. So find uh, make a bookmark of this uh, page. And then this, uh, we uh, to facilitate this, uh, our courses. Uh, I already create our uh, GitHub uh, repository called uh, Archimate underscore ontology. So within that is, uh, I have uh, uh, used uh, my always uh, the used uh, mind map tool. So free plan. If you uh, watch my other videos, you may f uh, familiar with that. So I al already post. Uh, uh, the level one structure here. So Archimate 3.2 has these uh, 14 chapters. Uh, what we will do is uh, I will uh, use a series of the videos uh, go through one by one so uh, and step by step. Uh, and uh, don't worry about this uh, or certain those uh, detail uh, uh, the paragraphs. I will try to uh, make them is uh, uh, more uh, the tangible for you. That is this mind -mind uh, and I put this, uh, those uh, cover page into the PowerPoint, uh, and uh, I will uh, use this uh, local, uh, the editing, uh, the IDE to uh, put that, uh, and then this uh, I already create our ontology uh, folder. Uh, so where this ontology folder will cope with the the every uh, I use this uh, prodigy to build this ontology. Uh, to describe the class and the individual relationships and uh, class to class relationships and to reflect uh, this uh, Archimate uh, uh, the meta model. Uh, and uh, if we come to uh, this uh, uh, mind map, so here is the mind map, let me come to here. Uh, and uh, after every uh, the video, which we have uh, putting some additional contents uh, into this uh, ontology, I will save a, a snapshot uh, version uh, into that ontology folder so that you can match uh, per every video. Uh, the purpose is uh, uh, you can uh, just start uh, learning these uh, courses from any step of the uh, the courses uh, videos uh, with the number, and then this you can find out uh, the related uh, progress uh, of this ontology and starting from that. So I hope is every ontology is clearly matching to the. Uh, uh, to over uh, the courses. Uh, so here is uh, I will starting to uh, breaking them down. So uh, start uh, from the next video is uh, I will uh, move to this uh, zero one introduction. Uh, but before closing is uh, actually this is not my first try to make this ontology view to, uh, to check uh, Archimate 3.2. I already post uh, in my uh, the uh, this uh, magazine you uh, linked in so earlier so some uh, 
months before is uh, try to build a very simple way uh, using Prodigy to uh, have a look about this uh, 3.2 uh, specification. Uh, and I also published that RDI file in my EA repository. Uh, but uh, this uh, course uh, will definitely break those uh, in more detail uh, down to the, uh, the every single uh, parts and I will starting to add uh, certain the descriptions and uh, related comments based on all the specifications uh, uh, documents. Uh, so uh, read this um, post uh, if you go to time before you move to the next uh, uh, video. So that can give you some uh, the high-level uh, try so to uh, familiar with the Prodigy, familiar with the Archimate, uh, but uh, from the next video is uh, we will starting to go into detail is uh, on the uh, this uh, specification. Uh, how detail means is uh, I already uh, start to uh, digest the key informations uh, from the specification documents. Uh, when you see the documents, you can download from the uh, this uh, open group uh, site, uh, and uh, you can you will get this one, and this uh, will be our uh, you can see uh, nearly 200 pages. Uh, I have uh, tried. Uh, to give you some uh, the pre uh, the summarize uh, the wording is the, in the mind map so don't treat this mind map as our static one after every or before every uh, videos uh, this mind map will keep growing and I will use that as the digest version uh, for this uh, specification and use that to match of uh, what we are going to uh, introduce on this uh, uh, the PDF file. Uh, at the same time is uh, we will do the uh, live uh, uh, the working. So now you can see this just a blank uh, ontology from next video or maybe the video uh, after when we are starting to look at our class all the uh, hierarchy code that we can use that to digest into our ontology uh, is uh, our starting to uh, utilize uh, this uh, prodigy uh, tool. Uh, and also, uh, we may not uh, create our ontology 100% uh, correct from the beginning. So this ontology will also keep uh, tailored and uh, fine-tuned, uh, but the ultimate goal is after this whole going through the Archimate specification, we will have our complete ontology file that describe the every single aspect of this Archimate 3.2. And those the final complete version will be able for you to use as your uh, the hands-on reference uh, when you are tr trying to get some uh, checking about uh, this um, uh, Archimate 3.2 uh, relationship inside and the specification itself. So uh, with that, is, uh, I hope uh, we uh, gave you is, uh, enough uh, background and uh, this is the uh, the opening, and I hope you uh, find this uh, interesting and uh, uh, make your uh, the commitment yourself is the, to starting for, uh, follow my pace from next video to build our ontology view on Archimate 3.2 specification. So uh, I'm looking forward to see you uh, in the next video. Bye for now.